Okay, so hello everybody. Um, okay, recently they just announced some Pokemon X and Y news yet again. This time they have announced a Pokemon Bank system. Uh, okay, so basically the Pokemon Direct uh, revealed a lot of information earlier on, and uh, Pokemon Bank basically a storage where you can, uh, what well, is the app for the 3DS? It allows a hundred boxes to store Pokemon on the internet. Um, the Pokemon Transporter includes connectivity to DS games and you can send the Pokemon to the cloud and then transfer them to X and Y so basically from your Gen 5 black and white black and white two games um, basically the idea came during the development of Pokemon Crystal so this is an old idea which is pretty cool um, but it does require an annual fee to use but however you can use at least 100 boxes so that's good I guess because I think in the games currently there's only like 20 boxes I don't know but now they have a hundred boxes, it's an, it's an app for the 3DS maybe 2DS too, I'm not sure that would be good if it was though, but yeah, maybe they should they they might, I don't know, they probably will and also they revealed some Mega Pokemon too they got some new Mega Pokemon forms I'll show you those in just a second Um, but yeah, this Pokemon Bank seems pretty cool the only bad thing is the fee I guess, but at least you can store more Pokemon that you want on the internet. Um, yeah, a hundred boxes, that's quite a lot. And they also revealed some Mega Pokemon forms, as you can see here. They have revealed Mega versions of the Kanto starters. Starting with Venusaur. Yeah. Okay, so basically all Kanto Pokemon have Mega forms now, which is pretty awesome. They are now amazingly strong. They're just so awesome compared to their um, original forms, I guess. Well, they look cool. I like the original forms still, but you know, these are pretty cool too. Um, so Mega Venusaur. When Venusaur becomes Mega Venusaur, the flower on Pokemon's back blooms even more fantastically than before. Its legs and frame become more sturdy to support the weight of a huge flower. After a huge flower, here's Mega Venusaur. It looks awesome to me. It has um, more growing on its back, I guess, and this nice flower here. I like its design, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, now it gets thick fat, which is amazing, because that weakens fire and ice moves, which is two main weaknesses of Venusaur. Pretty popular weaknesses in, in the metagame, uh, in competitive battling and regular battling, I guess, um, and including flying too, but it doesn't have a resistance against, it doesn't have a resistance against, against flying, but at least thick fat helps out, you know? At least that helps out with fire and ice moves. Which is pretty good. Um, also, we have Mega Charizard. Here we go. Charizard finally got a Mega Form, just like people probably spectated, like they assumed, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, it has a Mega Form now. It looks pretty cool, actually. It's like, it looks more like a dragon, I guess. Like, people always claim Charizard to be a dragon. Maybe, I doubt it would get dragon type. I think it will stay with fire and flying, but it looks more like a dragon to me. But, you know. When Charizard becomes Mega Charizard, its pointed horns and long tail give the Pokemon a look of sleek sharpness. Mega Charizard is in a league of its own when it comes to flying prowess, able to reach incredible heights, which is pretty cool. So that's Mega Charizard for you. Oh, I find it pretty cool. It's a pretty cool design. I like the original Charizard too, though. Don't worry. They're both pretty cool. I like Mega Charizard maybe more. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. And its ability? You won't believe this. It has Drought for an ability. It is now even more overpowered than before. <laughs> when Mega Charizard, when Mega Char, when Charizard Mega revolves, its wings become even larger than before. Wow. Maybe Fly will actually do something now. <laughs> Maybe Fly is better. No, I'm kidding. But you know, that sounds pretty cool. And it has Drought too, which is amazing. Only two Pokemon have Drought: Ninetales and Groudon. And now Char, Charizard does. Oh my God, this is pretty awesome. And I think that's a screenshot of a sky of a sky battle, maybe? I'm not sure. But after it Mega Revolves, Mega Charizard's special attack stat grows significant grows significant grows significantly significant shut up. And its ability changes to drought, increasing the power of fire type moves. Wow, so it has bigger mega oh, it has better special attack, you know? Okay, and finally we have Mega Blastoise. This looks awesome to me too. 
it has an extra cannon now. This just looks awesome to me. I don't know about you guys, but it looks awesome. I like its mega form. Maybe more than the original mega. Maybe more than the original Blastoise. Nah, no, original Blastoise is still cool. But I like I like the Mega Blastoise too. It is awesome. Let's let's see. The two rocket launchers on Blastoise's shoulders but turn into a single huge cannon when it mega evolves into Mega Blastoise. This cannon boosts, boosts a blast range so great that it can strike targets more than six miles away. So Mega Blastoise is pretty cool. It's still water type, I guess. They're all still the same type they were before. And it gets an ability, a new ability called Mega Launcher. I think that's a new ability. I think that's a new ability. Uh, ability. Uh, Mega Launcher. I think that powers pulse type moves. With its new Mega Launcher ability, pulse moves such as Water Pulse and Dark Pulse become even stronger. So maybe it gets Dark Pulse in this new gen, I'm not sure. But at least it gets Water Pulse. I'm not sure how much stronger, maybe 1.5, I'm not sure. But as you can see here, it's only got one huge cannon and two tiny cannons now, but it still looks pretty cool. I like Mega Blastoise, it's pretty cool. And here's some Mega Pokemon I didn't do a video on, unfortunately. Sorry about that, I got kind of delayed. But here are ones I didn't do a video on. Mega Ampharos. When Am Mega... Oh my god, this looks pretty cool to me. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much Amphabulous now. It is Electric and Dragon type. And I like that, that's pretty cool. Um... I might raise that, you know, but my favorite Mega Pokemon is in fact Mega Mawile. Mawile got a Mega Form, that's pretty awesome, you know? When Ampharos Mega evolves into Mega Ampharos, its head and tail are covered with white fur in its new g gallant appearance. When Ampharos undergoes Mega Evolution, it gains the Dragon type, in addition to its original Electric type, which is so awesome. It is Dragon type, not sure why, but it's still pretty cool. And it has Mold Breaker, and the original one has Static, is that right? Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, okay. So that you can drag on a mold breaker, okay. Yeah, comparison, that's pretty cool. I like them both. I like the hair, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it is amphabulous. I like the tail design, that's pretty nice. All the little balls there and everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But that's cool. And also we have Mega Absol. That looks so awesome to me too. When Absol undergoes Mega Evolution, it becomes Mega Absol. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool. Magic Bounce, really? Oh my god, I guess Mega, Mega Magic Bounce? I didn't know that. <laughs> the increased energy that curses through Absol's body upon Mega Evolving makes its first stand on end, giving it the appearance of wings. Okay. That's nice, I like that. The whole wing design. Mega Mawile, my favorite. When Mega Ma Ma when Mawile undergoes Mega Evolution, its trademark huge mouth has multiplied, and now there are two great mouths to contend with. Okay. Mawile undergoes Mega Evolution. When Mawile undergoes Mega Evolution. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that design. It is amazing. I like that. It's got two mouths now. It's got two maws and it's got the whole pink thing. And yeah, it is now fairy type. It is still in fairy. Oh, and I saw the original Mawile is now fairy type too. Oh my god, that is awesome. That was a rumor apparently and it, it is now true. So a lot of rumors are coming true it seems. I like that because I love fairy types and I want to raise Mawile because you know, I want to raise a lot of fairy types. I, I just love fairy types so much. It even seems that Mega Marl is able to control each mod independently. That's so awesome. Look at its design. I love it so much. Oh my god. And finally, Mega Mewtwo. I think I did a video on this, on the X and Y news update one. At least the truth behind the new Pokemon that so closely resembles Mewtwo is clear. It's a Mewtwo that has achieved a Mega Evolution, a new kind of Pokemon Evolution. So yeah, that was a while ago. And it has Insomnia, and it's still psychic type so it's not fairy, I guess. Oh, and also Mega Lucario. It looks pretty cool to me, too. I like Mega Lucario, but I still prefer the Lucario more than Mega Lucario, I guess. I don't know, Mega Lucario is still cool, though. When Lucario Mega Revolves, it becomes Mega Lucario. Full stop. This Pokemon becomes even larger than it was before it Mega Revolved. So, yeah, it's larger, it's got more hair and all that. It's got cooler design, I guess. It looks kind of like a character from Sonic, I swear. <laughs> and Lucario too, I don't know. But it looks kind of like a Knuckles kind of related character, or Shadow, I don't know. Yeah, Adaptability. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm not sure what that does, I forget. But, yeah, that's a pretty cool ability, I guess. <laughs> I'll look it up later. And Mega Blaziken, finally. This looks pretty cool to me, too. Um, They're having a Torchic event. They're giving away a free Torchic. Um, with X and Y or something like that on Wi-Fi, so be sure to get that for your Mega, Mega Blaze again, Mega Torchic, I think. 
Blaze can I? What the heck? The item needed to Mega Evolve Blaziken cannot be obtained through normal gameplay in Pokemon X and Y. Oh, I see. That's pretty cool. They have like Mega items, I guess. With its high attack stat and its speed of boost ability, Mega Blaziken will become a truly awe-inspiring opponent. Yep, that's true. Look at Blaze Mega Blaziken. That looks awesome to me. Um, speed boost. Okay, it still has speed boost. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't say its ability here. What the heck? Blaziken has a high attack stat even before it Mega Evolves. That's true. And with its high attack stat and the speed boost ability, Mega Blaziken will become a truly awe-inspiring opponent. That is true. Okay. So yeah, that is pretty awesome. Blaze Kick has a lot of power. And it's also more likely than average to land critical hits. You can even learn opposing Pokemon with a burn. That's true. So yeah, I hope you enjoy these Mega Pokemon forms. The new Pokemon Mega... The new Mega Pokemon or the Candle Starters, I love that. They look pretty cool. I wonder what other Mega Pokemon they'll release soon. We don't know, but maybe more, more maybe more to come. Uh, so yeah, just keep tuned and I'll post whenever they update. Uh, and thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. And yeah, have fun with Pokemon, guys.